friends, welcome back. We are navigating our way through a few more boat projects. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the last of our boat projects. So this is like the big push. We're trying to get back in the water where we belong. And uh, well, we can't do that if we don't have steering and we, we do have a bit of a steering issue. So that's up first. I'm Nikki, this is Jason, and this is our floating home curiosity. We set sail four years ago, and some 13,000 nautical miles later, we landed in the kingdom of Tonga, where we decided to haul out for cyclone season, visit family, and load up on a crate full of much needed boat supplies. Sadly, because of COVID, our poor boat set abandoned for a year, but we're back, ready to work, and get our girl back in the water. Today, I'm gonna sort out the steering. That's the plan. So there is a pulley, well, what you might think of as a pulley called a sheave or a block in here under the deck. And you've seen in some of our previous videos, Nikki climbing into the transom locker while we're sailing because the steering wheel is making like this moaning noise. There's this block like hidden inside here that I have to remove and inspect the cables and hopefully just lube, hopefully I don't have to replace it. But this is going to be quite the task because it looks pretty rusted and it's like, way inside there. So we have to like climb in and just, pff, I don't know, you'll see. 17. Either that bolt broke or maybe it's just spinning on the inside. My divers. Wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 17, 17, 15. No, 17. Okay. Uh, 17. Okay. This should work. Oh, come on. There we go. And hopefully when I unscrew, I'll hit this little wall and unbolt. I can tell it just spun all the way around so I got it wrong, but it caught on to something. All right. <laughs> grace, just grace. All right, I thought maybe it was a bearing, but it's just rotating around this. It's possible. Oh yeah, there it is, right there. Right there. It spins there, but it does not want to spin there. And that's where it was setting. And you can see this has kind of been worn out by the steering cable on the inside. So I'm going to email Edson, find out what lube they recommend, and if this tarnish is okay if there's anything I should do to clean it and prep it so I can put it back together. While Jason is taking apart the steering cables, I am in here handling some food prep because certain things come in and out of season so we try to take advantage of fresh stuff while we can and just getting good produce and right now at the market there is loads of Saturdays are very big days here at the market we've got tomatoes, loads of tomatoes Kamala, Hawaiian special potatoes. potatoes carrots papaya loads of pineapple like loads and loads yeah. of pineapple they are pineapple rich in this country <laughs> yes they are so stocking up and yes I even freeze tomatoes because better than canned. They still taste like a fresh tomato. So anyway, I've been buying those, bring them home, make sure they're nice and ripe, and then chop them up, put them in freezer safe bags, and then into the freezer they go, because then that means we've got fresh food for weeks or months or however long we're gonna be away. And while I'm finishing this up, it's also a really good time to talk about today's sponsor, which is Omaze, and we like teaming up with Omaze for two reasons. One, because they give away 
really awesome prizes that go perfectly with our curiosity driven explore the world lifestyle and two we get to tell you about really impactful charity so it's a win-win ha 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 sorry so the prize which is an airstream atlas that's the same van that jason's mom is living full-time in so we can tell you from first-hand experience that it is the most spacious and luxe living that you're gonna get in a van footprint. The bathroom is huge and so is the Murphy bed. It's left all three of us with tossing and turning room. And they're also giving away $20,000 to get you started on your travels. Okay, so now about the charity, which is First Descents. They provide life-changing outdoor adventures for young adults impacted by cancer and other serious health conditions. Now this year we witnessed the impact that nature and the outdoors can have on someone battling cancer. Our friend Mark charges at waves to recharge his soul and find support in the sailing community. So I can only imagine the effect that the programs at First Descents has. For your chance to win that Airstream Atlas plus the $20,000 and support the work at First Descents, head over to omaze.com slash wins. All right, let's put this in the freezer. And quick tip, Definitely freezing in these flatter long bags like this is good because if you stack everything up in a big Tupperware like this, it gets really hard to break the food apart. So Jason heard back from Edson, is that the company name? Yeah, Edson. Edson, okay. Jason, I heard back from Edson and they said, keep in mind, this is a mechanical working part, so it needs constant maintenance. And turns out we read the manual and it says to clean it and lube it monthly, <laughs> which we definitely have not been doing. So that might explain why it started moaning and then we would clean it and lube it and it would stop moaning. And then another month or two later, it would start moaning again. So there you go. It just needs constant maintenance, which isn't that big of a deal. But since we've already got it out, we're going to give it a nice bath, clean it up, oil it. Corrosion exit. Corrosion exit. Get her back in there. And that's that. And now this is Jason's toothbrush. Yummy. Yes. I'm cleaning this thing and I was wondering, is that rust color or is that just dirt color? That's just dirt color, not oh. rust color. Okay, cool. So that's what those little blocks or wheels or sheaves or whatever the hell they're called sit on. That, so all that was just under there. So I'm sure that didn't help. Nope. Bunch of grime and crap. Clean it away. I'd moan if that was underneath my arse. <laughs> <laughs> I could bitch and moan right now if you want me to. <laughs> it's getting cleaner. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't rust. Yeah, no, it's just dirt. Okay. It's pretty dirty. I can't believe how dirty it is back there. Jeez. Well, yeah. 15 years and probably not Yeah, being... never being maintained. <laughs> so the block in here is clean, but there's also one in here. Oh God, it is hot, fiberglassy, and very, very cramped. How's that for moaning? Woo! I'm wet all over. Can you see that? Look at that. Jeez. You're, you're, you're very glistening. Glistening. Holy Ooh. cow. Oh. It's okay. You can throw your suit on and go for a swim. <laughs> no time for that. Sorry. No. All right. I'm armed. And dangerous. Seek it and dangerous. Let's do this. I'll tell you when it's good. Okay. I am short one nut. Okay, tight. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna wipe the cable. Okay. That's all the way. And now I'm gonna oil it. 
Jab ho! Jab turkey! Nothing like steering and going nowhere. Let's see if we did a good job. Okay, here we go! Movie driving! Alright, it's spinning free! Yeah! And no moaning! <laughs> Next up, tanks, service the engine. Did you see that karate kid? I was like, yeah. yeah. Service the engine and whatever the hell else needs to happen Comes down out, there. Yeah. Don't think about that. Let's okay. just one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Tanks. We are about to install these tanks again. I want to give you a quick update, answer the number one question we have, which is why don't you just build a new tank? Well, we talked to a welder when we hauled out last year. He was not keen on the idea of cutting the bottom of this tank off and welding new aluminum to this 15 year old aluminum. He didn't have the supplies to build a new tank from scratch because there were some fittings that he didn't have access to. Also just remote island. It's, yeah, supplies. exactly. But it's all a moot point anyway, because of COVID he is stuck on another island. He can't get here. So there is no aluminum welder on this island. But anyway, he also recommended plastic tanks. And I think that's what we're going to go with. The coolest tip you guys had was a product called a tank liner. And it's basically like paint that you pour inside the tank and you slosh it around and it fills the holes and coats the tank like that sounded awesome. Unfortunately, it's hazardous cargo. So it'd be hazardous shipping and it was going to cost a small fortune, like $400 to ship the product. And it's only like a $50 product. So it was kind of cost prohibitive to buy that. So what do we end up doing? Well, we cleaned. It's getting dirty and dirty. Oh, yep. Sanded the bottom, filled the holes with the steel stick. We sanded, cleaned all that stuff, put a layer of putty and then fiberglassed just the bottom. We decided not to go around the edges because we were worried about bubbles causing the fiberglass to burst and then separating. We have friends that have done something similar and theirs has lasted for five years. Hopefully we have the same luck as them. All we need is to get to Australia or New Zealand so we can get proper new tanks made yeah. there. It's always just been a temporary fix. It's a temporary fix. fix. This is a temporary fix. It's just got to be until this COVID thing's over and we can get somewhere. Exactly. That's it. I'm doing one last clean on this to get any grime off and then it'll dry and we'll put it in tonight. Maybe tomorrow morning if we can't get it dry. Yeah. By night, it's kind of sunset. <laughs> This is the fuel tank gauge and I am putting a little silicone grease here before I screw it back together. Okay, is that it? Are we ready to go up? I think so. Oh baby. That's that last step, it's a doozy. <laughs> Well. Back to yeah. <laughs> Let's just keep, keep moving, keep moving, okay. Are you done? Done. Yeah. Now we just need to fill it up, pray that everything is good, and now this is how we see if it fits. Oh, I should probably put that in before I did the... <laughs> well, hell! <laughs> <laughs> oh dang! <laughs> so, come on, it must. Uh, no. Nope. Nope. Mm. Dang it! <laughs> I'll undo that. Yep, that'll only take a second. <laughs> it's never done right until you've done it twice. Oh, jeez. Try 
turn that on so when we fuel it up and then the ceremonial You gotta do a oil change. Yes. Service engine, take one. Your hose is getting a little wild there, honey. <laughs> no, can't get a good grip on it. Is it oily? <laughs> You're trying way too hard. It's too big for the tiny hole. How's it look? Dirt. Dirty. Mm -hmm. I just feel like a doctor. Colonoscopy. It's time to pump it up. Alright. Here we go. doing that I'm going to do this That's just water coming out of the tank It sounds like a slot machine <laughs> Honey you're sinking the boat Okay Yeah I'm just waiting on you Oh I think this might be a plug Oh No Oh okay Bring it back in Operation hot water tank was a fail but both change is still happening. One, two, three, four, five. Five quarts. Okay. Out with you. Yeah. Give me a gravel. I have a feeling you're gonna get oil everywhere. You don't know me. <laughs> there you go. Rub that dipstick all over the wall. <laughs> Don't judge me. Bang. We have coolant, filters, everything else. We do not have more oil. So, trip to the store. Trip to the store may or may not be successful. It's later in the day, but only one way to find out, and that's to go down there. So, <gasps> Road trip! Yeah! So much faster! Ah! That's a negative Ghost Rider. Yep. Okay. Tomorrow. Oh, oh. I got an idea. What? You ready for it? Sure. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Winner, winner, engine oil change. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yummy. Let's get this done. Get her done. Hand tight. All right, that is it. I think we've serviced the engine, changed filters. Oh, and Jason got the new hot water heater in, which means no more cold showers. That's probably the most exciting thing we've done. That's it, just have to repeat this on the other engine. And other than the bottom paint and the props, I think we're kind of getting really close. So maybe one more week and that's it. Whoop, whoop. Oh! It's so exciting. Okay. So yeah, send me all your good 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 good, 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 good juju. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry, I'm getting a little excited. Yeah, because uh we be knocking out these boat projects like we're at the Texas State Fair. Pew pew. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. Opa. <laughs> 
Ah. Okay, service engine take two. It's gonna be easy. <laughs> no, just kidding. Man, I got it like just perfect. Stand up straight. <laughs> it almost makes it look like you <laughs> you beat your pants. Do you want me to stop recording again? <laughs> so you can get it? <laughs> DJ Jason on the turntables! No. no. Over lubed, love. <laughs> Dirty elbows. Nice. Dirty knees. Look at these. <laughs> We're in a tight spot. You broke the bucket. I didn't break the bucket. The broke it. The broke it just the broke. The bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket. <laughs> the bucket just broke. <laughs> oh, oh. I got an idea. What? You ready for it? Do it. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Okay. Good one, honey. <laughs> it's gonna be the uh -huh. next. Okay.